We're getting a handle on the inside here now. You know, we got the tray done and everything else is just about done. Um, but we're gonna start addressing some of these issues here. We got a couple holes, no one there. But I wanna make this little recess here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna replace this whole piece here. Cause there's quite a few deep, deep pits in here and it's gonna be hard to weld anyway. But, we replace that whole piece right there and then I'll cut another chunk to replace this. But first of all, we gotta, gotta make this. These are the fun parts. This is, this is what makes, you know, fixing rust kind of fun, you know, cause you gotta be creative and build a panel. But I think we can do it. Let's get at her. So this is the little jig that we built here. And uh, my brother was using this to build some floors for his Fords. So I'm just going to lay this down. We're going to clamp it very tight to the groove. Now we got a couple different tools we use. We've got this one that's rounded. And I think I'm going to use this guy here because the grooves here are going to be uh, kind of squarish. So I'm going to give this a try. It's just a piece of square metal. And we'll just slowly tap it down and form us a groove. I think it's going to work. Center this the best we can. We'll clamp her down. All right, we're all set up. Now we just gotta kinda keep this centered as we can. And then we're just gonna tap along. I don't wanna just sit there and just start wailing and wailing and wailing. You know, we're not, we're not trying to save the world here. We're just gonna take our time. Tighten this one up a bit here. Yep. Well, that's looking awesome. And that didn't take hardly any time at all. All right. That's almost perfect. Looks good. We just have to flatten these ends out a little bit. And then we can uh, set that in there, mark it, and cut out, weld her in. This works pretty good. This is actually the first time I've used this. And if I wanted a, this, everything's flat here, and if I wanted a round groove, I'd have just used this. But I'll be using this a lot more, that's for sure. So I want a bit of a rounded corner. So I just cut it. Took a chunk of pipe, cut a notch out of it, and then I'll just hit down on there before I flatten it out. Just kind of give me a round corner. 
That might be a little overkill, but I don't think so. Nice rounded corner. Normally on trunks, all the rust comes from the top down. So it's easy to, uh, you know, protect it once you get it all cleaned up, buff it out, put some, uh, you know, some anti-rust on it. Because underneath, you can see it's not really pitted at all. It's rusted, but not, not these deep, deep pits like there is here. So in your trunk, the most important thing is to clean it up, Make sure you get some sort of a rubberized coating over top, and once that's done, it shouldn't rust again, unless you abuse it.
I just put a light underneath the uh, car, check for pinholes. There's a couple. You're going to get that when you're welding rusty metal. So that helps a lot. Really happy with that patch. I think it's going to be just perfect. The trunk is still in pretty good shape everywhere else. You know, we've got some pits, but like I said, we just uh, need to fill them with some sort of a rubberized something or other, and it'll all be good. Looks just like original.